Hey there, I'm Billy Folks with Marine Max Houston. Today I wanted to show you a 2023 Brady White 251 Fisherman. Here we go. This is the boat. Exterior of it is sea glass green. Uh, I'll go ahead and point it out later, but we complemented the underside of the hardtop with the same color. When you guys see a boat like this in person, what you need to look at is the flare of the bow. So much flare on this boat. A transitional dead rise from the front all the way to the back. Uh, very smooth ride. You can run it through the roughest of conditions. And uh, when you're resting, it's very stable. So moving back here, I wanna point out a couple things. The main thing is the 300 horsepower Yamaha motor. Uh, integrated steering on this unit. We have uh, underwater lights right there. Um, this is a major thing. So on Grady Whites, uh, you have your scuppers right here, scuppers throughout the boat. This is a totally self bailing hull. So no real place for water to sit inside the bilge and anything like that. Uh, Bennett trim tabs, they look very small, but they do exactly what this boat needs. Um, then we have the integrated uh, boarding and exit ladder. I'll show you guys the seat when we get inside, but drops down, gives you a nice casting platform if you want to remove these cushions. So we're inside the 251 Coastal Explorer and right now I'm under the bow shade, which is an option from Grady White. Uh, you can put this up, you can run very, very slow, but typically it's while, uh, used while you're at rest, uh, but it gives a nice amount of shade which is a huge difference on center console boats. Typically, you only have the center console with the uh, hard top or a bimini top, but this extends that shade all the way to the front of the boat. You can get aftermarket uh, rear shades as well. Up front, this is one of my favorite sections of the boat. You have insulated cooler over here, storage over here, and nice lounge seating. So these backrests flip up, get up out of the way, and you can just sit here and relax while you're underway. Uh, just enjoy the views. It ha uh, that happens on both sides. Down here we have tackle storage. On the back of the seat right here, we have three additional rod holders, cup holders, cup holders throughout the boat, um, and things of that nature. So up front, this right here is what I like to call like the queen's lounge, but this actually is removable. Goes up front, sits right here, and fills in it's a uh, casting platform insert this also turns into a table if you want to eat or drink and just relax and enjoy your time out on the water so moving towards the back these seats right here you got cushions all the way across no plastic or hard stuff to get in the way uh, very relaxing area on the boat you have a backrest that goes in, I lifted it up a little too high, backrest just like the front of the boat gives you a nice area to sit down here. We optioned it with the center backrest as well. This is removable. Under this seat we have one of two of our live wells. Under this seat there's just storage and access to the bilge and pumps, batteries, things of that nature. Built-in battery charger on this boat, fusion uh, stereo system throughout. A conveniently located battery on off switch then an engine flush right here so you don't have to go back to the back of the boat if you're leaving this boat uh, in a sling or something like that makes it very easy to flush the motor uh, on the leaning post itself we have four rod holders back here we have storage for your tools pliers knives things of that nature and right here is your second live well Sarah, go ahead and take a look inside there. So if you notice, it's a um, rounded live well and the water shoots out right here. So it's gonna keep your bait circulating, keep them, uh, them alive. There's no areas for them to get stuck. At the helm, we have your Yamaha display. Plenty of room right here for 12 inch displays, uh, VHF radio, anything that you can think of, we can uh, install that here in house. Up top, we have your electronics box right here. Again, good storage and uh, you can put your VHF radio in there if you just want it out of the way for the most part. Nice little storage area right here for, um, I like to put towels up in that area. But uh, while we're looking up, you can notice that we complemented the exterior of the boat with sea glass green and we, um, we matched the underside of the gel coat on the hard top as well. Bennett control tabs right here for your, um, uh, for your trim tabs, trim switch right here new binnacle from Yamaha and of course you have your tilt steering wheel stainless steel with the trucker knob on it. All your switches are at arm's reach right here. Nice compass up front and storage area up here for phones, wallets, guns, whatever you like to put up there. 
Moving forward just a hair is your head compartment. So plenty of storage down there. You have a porta potty um, and great storage. Again, you can put all your fishings in there. If you're going out for the day fishing, uh, you can take them off, still use it as a restroom if you'd like. But um, this is a great overall boat. I've taken this boat out with a couple clients on one of the roughest days in Trinity Bay and it handled it perfectly. Uh, it was literally probably 20 mile an hour winds and two to three foot swells. We didn't feel a single drop of water on us. That's saying a lot, of course, the wind direction and speed uh, has a lot to do with that. But um, this is a very dry boat, very comfortable. It can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. I've known people take this boat 80 miles offshore and come back. Uh, but it's a very versatile boat. You can use it in the Galveston Bays and all the bays here in Texas. So definitely come by, see this in person, see one of the best center consoles that money can buy. Uh, again, my name is Billy Folks with Marine Max. I hope to see you soon.